No apology. Harry shocked to the core over UK verdict at last minute to block him from returning forever. In a stunning turn of events, the news broke that Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, has received an unexpected verdict from a UK court that could affect his ability to return to his homeland. This shocking decision has left fans and critics alike buzzing with questions and theories. How did we get here? What does this mean for Harry, his family, and the monarchy? Let's dive into this intriguing story that captivates hearts and minds. But before we continue, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updates. To fully understand the implications of this latest verdict, we must first retrace the steps of Prince Harry's journey. Born into the British royal family, Harry was once the golden child of the monarchy, capturing the hearts of millions with his charisma and charitable endeavors. However, his life took a dramatic turn following his marriage to Meghan Markle in 2018. The couple's decision to step back from royal duties in early 2020 sent shockwaves through the UK and beyond, igniting debates about modern monarchy, privacy, and personal freedom. Harry and Meghan's move to the United States marked a new chapter, one filled with opportunities but also challenges. They have faced intense media scrutiny, which has often been unrelenting. Their candid revelations about life within the royal family, including their struggles with mental health and issues of racism, have sparked conversations around the world. Yet, with every step they take towards independence, the ties to their past seem to tighten. Fast forward to today, and we find ourselves grappling with the implications of a recent court ruling. Just when it seemed that Harry could perhaps find a way back to the UK, maybe even to reclaim some semblance of his old life, the verdict arrived like a bolt from the blue. Reports indicate that the court has ruled against Harry's request to return to the UK without restrictions, citing concerns over security and public interest. This decision has shocked Harry to the core. Imagine being in his shoes, a royal by birth, but now feeling like a stranger in the land that shaped you. The emotional toll of such a verdict cannot be understated. It begs the question, what does it mean to belong when you're constantly faced with barriers? Reactions to the verdict have been mixed. Supporters of Harry and Meghan express outrage, viewing this as yet another instance of the royal family's inability to adapt to the changing dynamics of modern society. They argue that Harry should have the right to return to his home country without facing such restrictions, especially given his status and contributions. Conversely, critics argue that the court's decision is justified. They express concerns about the potential risks associated with Harry's return, particularly given the intense media attention he attracts. The narrative of safety and public interest looms large, raising the question of whether the monarchy can truly evolve in an era where privacy is increasingly valued. What does this mean for Harry's family? The couple, now parents to two young children, faces unique challenges. How do you explain to your kids that their father's homeland is essentially off-limits? The emotional complexity of this situation cannot be overlooked. Harry's desire to maintain ties with his roots while protecting his family from the press and public scrutiny is a delicate balancing act. Moreover, the couple's charitable endeavors are often tied to their British heritage. From mental health awareness to advocating for social justice, Harry's initiatives resonate strongly with the values of the British people. However, a lack of access to the UK could hinder their ability to make a difference in their home country. This raises an important question, can they continue to champion causes close to their hearts without a physical presence? As we ponder the implications of this ruling, it's essential to consider what the future holds for Harry and Meghan. Will they continue to forge ahead in the United States, or will they find a way to navigate the complexities of returning to the UK? One thing is clear, their story is far from over. The couple has shown remarkable resilience in the face of adversity. Whether it's through their successful podcast, their documentary projects, or philanthropic work, they seem determined to carve out their own path. The question remains, how will they adapt to this latest challenge? This situation transcends borders. The story of Harry and Meghan resonates with individuals worldwide who grapple with issues of identity, belonging, and the pursuit of happiness. It's a microcosm of a larger conversation about the evolving nature of modern families and the impact of public life on personal choices. In a world where social media blurs the lines between public and private life,
Harry and Meghan's experiences serve as a cautionary tale. They remind us of the importance of empathy and understanding, especially when navigating the complexities of fame and family. As we reflect on this shocking verdict, it's essential to consider what it means for the future of the British monarchy and for Harry himself. Is there a way for him to reconcile his past with his present? Will he ever feel truly at home again? The answers remain elusive, but one thing is certain, the world will be watching closely as this story unfolds. In the end, Harry's journey speaks to a universal truth, the quest for belonging is a deeply human experience. As we follow his path, let's remember to approach it with compassion and an open heart. After all, in a world filled with challenges, the importance of love, understanding, and acceptance cannot be overstated. So, will Harry find his way back home? Only time will tell, but for now, the tale continues to captivate us, urging us to stay tuned for what comes next. In the grand tapestry of life, the threads of family, identity, and resilience weave a story that is both timeless and profoundly relevant.